You need to know mm. the smell mm. that puts you in a low mood. I, I invest very heavily in okay. smell. In fact, I have a hand fan in my bag. That hand fan is scented with the smell of money. I, I just want to he perceive that wisp. Of money? Yes! It's a motivation. I'm following you to your <laughs> According to the World Health Organization, over 300 million people are affected with depression annually. This cuts across all communities, irrespective of your social economic class, your religious group, your race, your gender. All our physicians today will tell you, will give you the tips of managing depression in a non-conventional way. Welcome to the physicians. someone feels sad the person says, oh, I'm depressed mm. there's a difference between sadness and depression uh, and a lot of times I would say that when you say to yourself oh I'm depressed no that's self labeling mm. what really is depression so depression is a mood disorder thinking feeling and behavior mm. so what is the thinking that comes with depression for example the thinking so we have sometimes we have cognitive distortions where the person you know is having certain thinking that is not healthy or mm. it's not therapeutic. So what are those kind of thinking? For example, um, they, could, they could believe that um, they are responsible for the problems of their family. Mm. And maybe when they're out of the picture, the family would be at peace. Mm. Or sometimes they second guess people a lot. Mm. Oh, people don't like me. I'm worthless. Mm. You, know, you, feel, you hear that feeling of guilt. Mm. Things. So these cognitive distortions or wrong, or wrong thinking are what we, we, what we refer to as you know the thinking part of depression what's the feeling part the feeling part is where the mood comes in mm. so you see um someone who is suffering clinical depression and i love to use the word clinical depression yeah. because you must you must have been diagnosed by a psychiatrist for you to say that you are clinically depressed wow. someone who is memory loss hmm. they easily forget um, you know, they, they notice that I used to be someone who remembers things a lot. What's going on with me? They're having that memory loss. For some other people, is the fact that um, they observe that things they usually would enjoy, they're enjoy the they no longer okay. enjoying it. And you see, it's not all the time because that's also the narrative of depression that we hear mm -hmm. that so many closed windows and all of that. There is also high functioning depression yeah. hmm. where somebody is battling depression but is going to work. He's mm. making food for the family. He's doing everything that they're supposed to do, but he's dealing that is not how rich you are. Mm. It is about how decent you keep your immediate environment. You don't know that when you keep everywhere dirty, it lowers your mood mm. because it is feeding your mind with absence, lack, disorganization. It's feed everything is speaking to you. So when you keep your environment in disarray, you're not giving yourself, you're not giving your mind the room to see a beautiful picture or a beautiful future. So we detox every part of our body. Some people do water therapy, some people do lime, some people do apple cider vinegar. Mm. We do also, some people take uh, the herbs mm -hmm. or the what bones or agbo. We do all of that because we want to cleanse our system. We say jedi jedi and all of them. We do all of that but we neglect the operating system. The palace. Which if it goes wrong, everything has gone mm -hmm. wrong. So you go through your day, everybody's carrying their baggage, their emotional baggage. When you see people lashing out all of the time, it's because they're carrying the baggage. Oh, yeah. So you know what someone who is lashing out is doing? Is giving you the baggage to carry. carry. Who will carry it? Carry it. Uh -huh. Who so will carry it? Who will carry it? Who will carry it? My mind is my palace. And I will not let anyone walk what through my mind. Dirty feet. Dirty feet. When you feel you're depressed, you are not the only one going through it. A lot of people are going through the same thing, even worse than what you think you're going through. Everyone at one stage or the other in life goes through their depressive state. The ability to be able to cope with it matters. So on that note, we want to say a very big thank you for keeping a date with us, for watching the physicians, for always being there. If you want to be a part of this show, please, we are just an email away.